Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Last week, boys and girls, we did um, this painting of um, happy boys and girls. Um, and it's basically be glad in the Lord and rejoice. So it's Psalm 31 verse 11. And boys and girls, there are some children who showed me their work. Basically the same children um, um, Tarieva, Anaya, Skyla, um, but I also got some work from new people like uh, I got something from Kliani which I was really happy about and Talanda, Aidan, Savio so and even Micah G thank you for sharing your work with me so I would like to say thank you um, but you know the usual children Alyssa um, um, Micah P, Khalid, Timari, Micah Vidal um, you guys your work is excellent and I really am proud of you all so keep on the hard work uh, I also saw work from Naeem, Niall, um, and um, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to all those children, Lorenzo I saw as well, Fabio, Kelly, so it was wonderful, I was very very satisfied last week with your work, and I hope that this week you'll be able to show me something. Um, at least part, if not all the design if you're able to manage your time properly but at least show me your progress so boys and girls we're gonna go, go ahead and start our new design so first of all you need uh, paper and you need to have your paper this way landscape way and this week we're going to be doing psalm 37 which is the third penitential psalm and the particular bible verse that we are looking at is uh, psalm 37 which is hearing nothing and saying nothing boys and girls that really amounts to um gossiping you ever heard of the um a cartoon character where it's see no evil speak no evil hear no evil or something like that it's not in that order but anyway it's that kind of um, um, idea we're getting th this um, painting for so I'm gonna be doing a picture of a boy um, holding his ears and holding his mouth so we begin with um, I'm just gonna zoom in because we really want to emphasize this boy's eyes and uh gonna be his eyes are gonna be like this and basically what we want to depict is we want him to depict that he's not he's covering his ear so whatever he hears he's not going to repeat it and basically that's what it is boys and girls we should try to practice that skill it is a skill you know well when you hear something you don't repeat it especially when you're not sure where it's coming from uh, that amounts to gossip so boys and girls we have to try to be very careful um, so I have a small little mouth like this where he he's not going to say anything he's covering his ear so he's he don't want to he's not listening to anything so let's just put his hand like this 
So you're going to have the hands uh, basically like that. Uh huh. Hands. So this is what's going down like that. And then um, this is thumb. So he's going to have his hands this way. He's not going to allow himself to listen to any gossip for him to be able to like, you know, they'll say, hey, but um, such and such was listening to and was saying bad things, you know, so he's not even, he doesn't even want to be part of it. So we have a picture of him covering his ear, making sure he covers his whole ear so that nobody will say that he was listening. And then we have another hand coming this way, um, just to depict. Just want to show part of the hand like that, covering his his ear. All right. So this is one part of it, and he's saying um, he's covering his ears. He's hearing nothing. And right here now, we're going to have another, the same boy, but this time he's covering his mouth. So we're going to draw another, um, his eyes looking like this. He looking at him in a different angle like that. And if you notice, this, the eyes are like rect rectangular somehow. And then he's at his nose, but his hands is covering his mouth like that. So we're going to have him like that, and uh, now we're going to have him covering up his mouth, so he's not going to be involved. He doesn't want to be part of this um, gossip, and uh, I think that's how we should try to train ourselves, you know not getting ourselves involved with anything that doesn't uh, belong to God. When you, when you gossip, are you godly? No, I don't think so. So it's better, you know, I remember always uh, when growing up, uh, there was a Bible that says that, uh, if you can't say anything good, don't say anything at all. So rather than say anything bad, just keep your mouth quiet, basically. Don't say anything. And that's a beautiful virtue to adapt, to, to adopt. And so that's his hand here. That's the other hand. So that's the other hand uh, touching the other. So that. So he is not, he, this little character here, he's not about to repeat anything that he hears from air, whatever that was said. He's not going to be repeating that at all. So you can make this character, if you wish, um, a girl as well. It's up to you, but I've been doing girls for the past few weeks, so I decided I'm just going to. Uh, do a bo uh, boy this time, a boy character, so that we can be even as our schools, our school is a uh, mixed school, boys and girls. So I'm just going to go ahead with just uh, a depiction of a boy holding his hand like that. All right, so there we have it, boys and girls. Um, Psalm 37, verse 14 See, hear no, nothing, saying nothing. Hearing nothing, saying nothing. And that's what we have to try to train ourselves to, to be like. We, we don't want to be part of gossip or be part of that. Um, knowing people, there are some people who are notorious for that. You don't want to be part of that group. You want to be... Definitely minding your 
yourself and your work, making sure that you get on with your work when you're in school. And yeah, boys and girls, that's basically um, it for our um, drawing session. I'll just write at the bottom Psalm 37. That's the um, third penitential Psalm and it's verse 14. Hearing nothing, saying nothing. All right, so boys and girls, let's get the paint. For those of you who don't have paint, you know, just use your crayons. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... I have some brown from the previous week. Yeah, so I have this brown, so I'm just going to reactivate it by adding some water to it. Sorry about that. Got a little bit off camera. And yeah, we're just going to basically paint our character in brown. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that is basically it. And he's going to be... Sorry, boys and girls, my camera went off without I even realize it. So I went ahead and I um, painted the um, the face and I did some highlights and dark dark um, shades around the face and uh, I gave it uh, this boy um, some uh, an orange T-shirt and I'm really sorry about that uh i did i wasn't even aware that the camera went off so boys and girls you will see a big jump from where i was to now and i apologize but um sometimes these things happen so please bear with me so um i'm just going to i'm just go giving it little tweaks here and there um with the a darker shade of brown um and uh I gave him an orange t-shirt because uh, yeah I just wanted it to be a nice bright um, depiction right there and uh, yeah that's it so um, I said for this um, psalm and for my the previous class I won't add um, text the text to it because uh, you really need a fine paintbrush and sometimes you may not have one so um, I'm just going to go ahead and use a marker to write in the word Psalm 37 verse 14 like that okay and uh, yeah, I think that's it, boys and girls. I, I'm just going to add a little bit of black to the, for the eyeball. So I'm just going to take some black here and just paint in the eyeball like that. So that we can see the eyes have some direction. So there it is, boys and girls. Psalm 37, verse 14. Hearing nothing, saying nothing. This is a lesson that we learn in life about gossiping. And uh, as we're in the Lenten season, I'm just calling to mind some uh, Lenten reflections that you can think about and perhaps enhance your life. And uh, yeah, think twice before you say something that could be offensive or not nice or kind to somebody else. Uh, do not um, help another person to bring down another. All right, boys and girls. So that's basically uh, what I have in store for you this week. And I can't wait to see your work. So please share with me at the end of the class. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye.